What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a bench out of wood. And we're gonna base this bench off the Rep Fitness FB5000. Um, so all the dimensions should be pretty similar and kind of the way it's designed is pretty similar as well. So let's get started. So you're gonna need a piece of two by four, a three and a quarters of an inch piece of plywood, a four by six, um, and then you're gonna need a two by 12. Now the two by 12, the two by four, and the four by six, this is them at eight foot and 10 feet, but you're not gonna need 10 feet. So just get the eight foot lengths. Let's go over the dimensions that you're gonna need your wood at. You're gonna need one piece of four by six at 14 inches, and then you're gonna need another one at 14 and three quarters of an inch. So if you look over here, one is gonna be a little bit longer, but that's okay because it's done on purpose so that when we put these pieces of wood, they're about the same. And then you're gonna need to cut your two by 12 at 48 inches in length. You're gonna need to cut a three by four at 10 inches by nine inches. And you can kind of play with the dimensions of this base. I kind of just did it like this because I had a piece of like scrap three by four. You don't want it to be too narrow because it's gonna be kind of unstable, but you don't want it to be too wide or it's gonna kind of get in the way of your feet. And then you're gonna need to cut your piece of two by four at 12 inches in length. So that should be it. All right, so we're gonna start this off by fastening one of the legs. So you're gonna take your four by six, that is 14 inches in length, and then you're gonna take your two by four, and we're just gonna put it on top like this, um, and then just kind of make sure that it's even on both sides right here, just so it's not unstable or anything. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it in. Um, all right, so I kind of realized that when I screwed it in, it moved a little bit too much, and I don't know, I just wasn't comfortable with leaving it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and center it back again, and then we're gonna just clamp it in, and we should be good this time. So, put it in. so now we can take this off, and it should stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one more screw in there. All right, so now we have one of our legs for our bench, and let's go ahead and make the other one. All right, guys, so it was really late when we were filming the other day. So this is the next day, and we're about to make the second leg of the bench. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. All right, so you're gonna take your piece of four by six, that's 14 and three quarters of an inch, um, and you're gonna take the piece of three fourths of an inch plywood, and we're gonna put it over the piece of four by six. Um, now, you want it to be, so this piece of plywood is 10 by nine inches, so you want the side that is 10 inches to be running perpendicular to the 4x6 at its long ways, if that makes sense. So the 4x6 is longer that way, so 6 inches like this. So you want the side that is uh, 10 inches to be running perpendicular to it. Um, and the reason for that is because you want more space on each side of the 4x6 for a stable, for a more stable base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda just gonna center it on the four by six, so that seems about right. Uh, now I'm gonna take a screw and we're gonna go ahead and screw it in. All right, so when I screwed it in, the, the plywood moved a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and just make sure that it's squared off. All right, so this is pretty much what it looks like right now. Uh, let me flip it over for you guys. So just in case what I, what I said earlier didn't make sense, you want the side that is 10 inches to be running this way um, against the four by six, right? Because obviously there's gonna be more of a tilt sideways than back and forward. Um, so I hope that makes a little more sense. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more screws in this just to make, make sure it's um, pretty well secured. All right, so I went ahead and put three more screws in it. Um, and it shouldn't need any more than that. It should be pretty well secured. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually put the two legs onto the actual bench um, and it'll be done. All right, so I put this long board on top of both legs and I just made sure that this leg is pretty much centered first um, and then I'll worry about the other leg. But I'm gonna go ahead and screw in this leg from the top down and then we'll, we'll go ahead and screw the other leg. My legs are kind of rounded just because of the way I cut them. So that means that the board is gonna be kind of unlevel if I just screw it in like that. 
So I'm gonna keep this level right here and I'm gonna make sure that as I screw it in, it's going in as level as possible. So I'm gonna kinda keep moving the board, tightening it on one area a little bit more than the other. That way the, the whole bench is as level as possible. Um, now the reason this matters is because you don't wanna be doing a bench with an unlevel surface um, because it will lead to muscle imbalances and you don't want that. So let me go ahead and screw this into the leg. Alright, so as you can see, the bubble is pretty much in the middle of the two lines. That means that this side of the bench is level. Um, now we're going to go ahead and do that side. And I'm pretty much going to do the exact same thing. So let's do it. And first of all, alright, so I went ahead and centered this, uh, this leg to the top board. And now I'm pretty much going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that I did with that side onto this side. Now this is going to be a little bit easier because this side is already level. So for the most part we can just go ahead and screw them in and they should be fine. But I'm still going to make sure not to screw it in too much on one side or the other. Alright so five screws in and the level is still level. So now we know that this bench is fully level um, and just like that it's all done. Now one thing I noticed on this other side is now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a screw right there that actually didn't go inside the actual leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and just put it in a different place. Now there it is. And I do know that I have a, an extra hole right there that I don't really like. Um, I'll find a way to plug it up. But for the most part, there is our bench. Now what you could do, instead of putting the screws from the top down, is you could build or you can make pocket screws or pocket holes that way you can put a screw that isn't visible but i didn't really care too much i mean it's going to be used and abused in here so for the meantime this is fine all right you guys so i just wanted to make sure you guys know that this right here is the back piece and this is the front piece now the reason for that is because this piece was made with the three quarters of an inch plywood at the bottom as the base so that it doesn't get in the way of your feet um if you do the bench facing this way so your head over here and then your legs over there you're gonna notice that that piece of 2x4 is gonna get in the way of your feet um, and the Red Fitness FB5000 which is a bench that a lot of people consider the best flat bench around uh, for the money um, also has the same features for that exact reason so that's about it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to drop a like uh comment what you guys want to see next or if you guys have any questions and make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one